हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल एम डी लर्नर्स आई एम योर इंस्ट्रक्टर महविश ताहिर एंड बिफोर परसुइंग टुवर्ड्स माय चैनल आई वांटेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम अ पीएचडी स्कॉलर इन आयरलैंड एंड हैविंग फाइव इयर्स प्लस टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस आई वाज टीचिंग कंप्यूटर साइंस टू द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ओ एन ए लेवल्स आई हैव क्रिएटेड दिस चैनल टू शेयर माई नॉलेज विच आई हैव गेन इन माई टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस नाउ लेट मी मूव टुवर्ड्स द डिटेल्स ऑफ माई चैनल MT Learners is a platform for students who want to learn about computer science from very basic level. Students will find lectures on this channel that are very easy to understand and will be helpful in their educational growth. Please subscribe my channel and you can also email me at mtlearnersofficial@gmail.com. Now without wasting time, uh, let's move towards the uh, outline of O level computer science 2210 subject. Uh, papers that are included in computer science 2210 are paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is theory of computer science and paper 2 is about practical problem solving and programming components and weightings of both papers uh, paper 1 that is theoretical paper it contains short answer and structured questions all questions are compulsory no calculators are permitted permitted in this paper and this paper is of 75 marks and One hour forty five minutes. Uh, the time is given, and weighting of this paper is sixty percent. In paper two, that is problem solving and programming. Also, one hour forty five minutes are given. Forty percent of the weightage is used uh, uh, in in marks giving system, and then this paper contains short answer and structured questions. All questions are compulsory. Twenty of the marks of this paper are from questions set on the pre release material. I will discuss pre-release material in another video. No calculators are permitted in this paper, and this paper is of is of fifty marks, and both papers are assessed externally. Now, let's move towards section one, that is theory of computer science. This includes five major parts that are data representation, communication and internet technologies, hardware and software, security and ethics. in data representation binary systems hexadecimal data storage is included in communication and internet technologies data transmission security aspects internet principle of operation and in hardware and software logic gates computer architecture and fetch execute cycle input devices output devices memory storage devices and media is included and also operating system and high and low level languages and their translators are included in this chapter that will be studied in uh, o level computer science paper 1 now in chapter 1 chapter 1 is binary systems and hexadecimal introduction of both the number systems will be given and then uses of binary and hexadecimal system will be discussed and measurement of the sizes of computer memories uh, will be studied here and in chapter 2 that is communication and internet technologies introduction of data transmission will be given then different error checking methods will be explained and then internet technologies will be discussed and in chapter 3 logic gates and logic circuits will be introduced to the students and uh, what are the logic gates what are their symbols what are the truth tables how the, the six logic uh, gates will be used in different scenarios for creating logic circuits and logic circuits in the real world uh, the different examples from the real world scenarios will be solved uh, for creating logic circuits and solving truth tables or creating truth tables now chapter 4 that is operating systems and computer architecture in this chapter introduction of operating system and computer architecture will be given interrupts and buffers uh, will be explained and then in the end the fetch ex execute cycle will be discussed now chapter 5 that is input and output devices in this chapter introduction of different input and output devices will be given and uh, then different uh, uh, examples of input and output devices will be discussed in details and now in chapter 6 there is memory and data storage introduction of computer memory and data storage will be given and then file formats that will be used in uh, different file formats is discussed and then uh, types of compression that are lossless and lossy file compression 
which file format is lossy and which file format is lossless will be uh, differentiated here and then memory and storage will be discussed then how to estimate the size of a file will be explained now in chapter 7 uh, that is high and low level languages uh, different uh, programming languages will be uh, of different nature like some will be high level languages some will be low level languages now which languages needs translators and which translators are used to convert different uh, programming languages will be discussed here and then what happens when the things go wrong uh, all will be covered in this chapter now if we have a look at chapter 8 it's about security and ethics in this chapter introduction of security and data integrity will be given and then uh, cookies will be defined and loss of data corrupt data and data corruption methods will be discussed and then firewall and proxy servers will be explained and uh, what are security protocols will be discussed here and then encryption types of encryption applications uh, in the real world and then computer ethics and in the last different types of software will be discussed there is free software freeware and shareware and that was all about chapter uh, uh, chapters data started from chapter 1 to chapter 8 that includes in uh, section 1 now let's move us towards uh, section 2 that is practical problem solving and programming this uh, part includes three major areas that is algorithm design and problem solving programming and then databases in uh, first section we will be studying problem solving and design then pseudocode and flowcharts in programming uh, we will uh, discuss, uh, discuss different programming concepts uh, uh, using uh, uh, Microsoft Visual Basic and Python as well. Then data structures uh, will be studied here uh, and uh, data structure that is uh, explained in, in this uh, uh, status is arrays and we will uh, discuss about, about arrays and then in the end uh, databases will be uh, studied in detail and now uh, if you talk uh, if you will uh, talk about uh, chapter 9 uh, it's about problem solving and design uh, introduction of problem solving and design using different algorithms will be given then what test data is used uh, and how to use test data is defined then difference between validation and verification is defined then uses usage of trace tables uh, 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 using pseudocodes and flowcharts is explained then identifying and correcting errors from different algorithms is explained then how to produce different algorithms is uh, defined in chapter 9 now move towards chapter 10 that is pseudocode and flowcharts in chapter 10 you will be studying about flowcharts and uh, uh, pseudocodes introduction of both will be given then assignment conditional statements loop structures, input and output statements, standard actions that are needed and then examples of algorithms in pseudocodes uh, will be presented and set, uh, what are the standard flowchart symbols are also explained here uh, the symbols which will be used in your course only uh, there are a lot of flowchart symbols but some specific symbols will be used in computer science 2210 subject code and now in chapter 11 data programming concepts uh, introduction of the programming language then uh, declaration and use of different variables and constants uh, i will be sharing uh, uh, about both languages that is visual basic and python as well uh, basic data types that are included in uh, programming languages and then how to make your program work now in chapter 12 that is data structures and uh, data structures uh, arrays and using pre-release material uh, introduction of data structures that is arrays and pre-release material is given and uh, how to use pre-release in, uh, by uh, including arrays in your program will be defined here now the last chapter of this syllabus is chapter 13 that is about databases in this chapter you will be studying about introduction uh, to the databases then what are databases used for then structure of a database then in the last practical use of a database uh, now if you want to uh, search for the a course outline uh, of this subject you can also visit www.cambridgeinternational.org uh, thank you for listening me i hope you liked my video uh, take care and goodbye